In this video, we are going to continue with sequen sequences and we are going to focus on the general term. So the general term Tn or the nth term. So in ordinary level, we learned the following. If Tn, the general term of a sequence, is given, we can work out the value of any term of the sequence. Tn, it's almost like the formula for that sequence, is the value of the nth term of a sequence and can be represented by a formula which can be used to generate all the terms of the sequence. The first term of a sequence is called A. The value of n indicates the position of the term in the sequence. Therefore, n must always be a natural number. Okay, now I, I like to compare it with a race. So, say for example, this person, he is first, but on the, the number on his in front is 10. This person is second, but the number, his number is 15. This person is third, but his number is 20. So basically, his position, that position, his first in the race, N will be 1. His position is second, so N is 2. His third, so N is 3. Therefore, very important, and I will repeat it again, N cannot be a negative number. You cannot say, okay, I run the reverse and now, now I'm negative first. No, sorry, you are out of the game. You can also not say, okay, I, I was almost, almost second, so I'm two and a half. No, sorry, you are third. You're either second or you're third. So there's no negative numbers and there's no fractions when it comes to n. But there can be negative numbers and fractions when it comes to the value or the number in front of you or at your back. Okay, and that's really important. So the general term of an arithmetic progression. In general, we can write an arithmetic sequence like this. So a, then a plus d, that comes, then a plus 2 times d, a plus 3 times d. Where a is the first term, d is the difference between the terms, the common difference. The formula for the general term of an arithmetic progression is this. Now, sometimes I put D at the back, sometimes in front, doesn't really matter. I, I just think you are more used to multiplying with something that is in front of the bracket. So note that N because D is not used in the first term. So we use N minus 1 because D, D is first coming in the second term. Okay, that's why. Let's look at an example. Determine the 6 and the 13 of the AP, so I'm giving you, so I'm using this formula. So for the 6, I know N is, this is the 6 position, and then I fill in A, I know A is 3, I fill in 6 minus 1, and it seems to me now I put it there at the back, do you see? But you can put it in front, it's making more sense, and I get 28. Okay, so it seems to me sometimes it's at the back, sometimes... Uh, I think it should have been better if I was putting it just there in front. Okay, maybe if I edit it, I will do that. But it doesn't matter. So for the 13, I just, instead of putting 6, I put 13 and I get very, 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 very simple. Okay, because it's so simple, I'm, I'm going to just give you number 2. You can stop the video, you do number 2, and as soon as you are finished, you can continue the video. Let's start. Determine the 8 and the 14 term of the sequence. Now, in this case, they don't tell you it's an AP or a GP. So, so I, I think it's just good, after you write it down, just to make sure it's an AP or a GP. Now, in this case, if you say negative 8 minus negative 12, you're going to get 4. Negative, and you're going to get negative 4, minus negative 8, you're going to get 4, so it's, you can test it, so therefore it's an AP. Okay, just make sure. So now I'm asking you for the 8th term. So the general formula, let's just write it down. Uh, I'm going to use another color. So, so the general formula is A, and I like to put the D and N minus 1. Okay, I'm going to use it now, like in the book. So re remember that this is term 1, 
term 2, term 3, but that is also my value of A. Okay, and how do I get my value of D? Now, D is always the front minus the back. Doesn't matter what. So it's negative 8 minus negative 12. Use your brackets. So it's negative 8 plus the 12, and that's why it's 4. Can you see that? So that's D, that's A, and let's start. So if I'm saying A, then usually I will write it like this. I will say T8, okay? A is negative 12 plus 4, and now you use that N, 8 minus 1. So that will be negative 12 plus 4, and that's going to be my 7. Okay, and if I'm going to do work out that, so this is 28 minus 12, and that's going to give me 16. Okay, and then the next one, uh, let's go. It's T14. And now it's again A, so it's negative 12, the same. But now instead of 8, I put just 14. And then it's negative 12 plus 4. And this is going to be 13. And if I simplify this, I will get an answer of 40. And that will be my final answer. Okay, very simple, very simple, very ordinary level.